I'm back. Honey, what's up, Aqua Gang? What it do? I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. My bad. My fault, gang. But how y'all feeling? We about to, you know, keep going with this Aquarius. I ain't, I ain't, we ain't leaving off no signs. We ain't leaving off no signs. Aquarius dealing with the air sign. Come on in the building, okay? Aquas, we about to go ahead and get started. We about to find out what's on their mind, what they feeling, what they want to say. Aquas, what are their true intentions? What is going on? So let's see. Let me start with the overall energy. Aqua's dealing with an air sign. So we're going to start with Aquarius versus Libra. Aquarius dealing with a Libra. Aquarius dealing with a Libra. Let's see over our energy. Aquarius and the Libra. Uh oh. Let go of control issues. So either you or this Libra could be controlling, but this is your soulmate, Aquarius. Give your relationship a chance. Aquarius dealing with a Libra. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe that's what this person is saying to you. Like, Hey, Aqua, you need to just chill out, okay? You need to just chill. What's going on with the Aquarius? Oh, this is not the deck I wanted to use, y'all. I'm tripping. What's going on with the Aquarius person? Aquarius dealing with the Libra. Aquarius dealing with the Libra. What's going on with the Aquas dealing with the Libra? What is the Libra? have on their mind. What's on their mind? What's on the Libra's mind? Aquarius dealing with the Libra. What's on the Libra's mind? Aquarius. Oh, they got a lot on their mind, but what flipped over is the Ten of Wands. So they, they been stressing, Aquarius. Are they stressed out? They've been trying to, you know, put forth the effort. Or they they feel like they just making sacrifices. They keep taking L's. And they just over it, Aquarius. They're going through some type of awakening or wake-up call. This is what they're feeling. This is what's on their mind, baby. They going through it, okay? They stressed out. They could have been putting in a lot of hard work. Or maybe this is how they feel about you. Like, damn, I've been putting in all this goddamn work. And Aquarius still trying to control the goddamn issues. Damn. What's the Libra feeling? Aquarius dealing with the Libra. What is the Libra feeling? How are they feeling? What are they feeling? What's the Libra feeling? Where's the Aquarius? What are they feeling? Where's the Aquarius? What's the Libra feeling? Three of Pentacles. They want to work on it though, Aquas. They want to, you know, collab on some projects together. Yeah, they want to work on it with you. King of Swords, that's your energy, Aqua. They want to work on it. They want to, you know, use some of your intellect. Figure out how you moving, how you moving, how you grooving, how you grooving. You feel me? They want to work on it. They're determined to succeed with you or they're just determined to succeed in this connection, this project. You could be starting a business together. Something that you two are dedicated to or someone is just dedicated to this relationship. This is how they're feeling. What do they want to say to the Aquarius? Aquarius dealing with the Libra. What do they want to say to the Aquarius? Aquarius dealing with the Libra. What do they want to say? Okay, so they want to say, my Queen of Pentacles. I know you're protecting yourself, Aquarius. You know, I know you always, you know, got your guard up. But I feel like I'm going to bring you in a new opportunity, Aquarius. I want to show you something different. You feel me? You got the potential to be how I see you. Or you got the potential to do the things that I see you doing. Someone could be very angry, Aquarius. Maybe just they want to tell you they mad. They mad because you done bossed up. They feel like you're leaving them behind or you're not really giving them a chance. And the Ace of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck. So they want to bring you some type of new chance or new opportunity. What are their true intentions? Uh-oh. What are the Libra's true intentions with the Aquarius? <laughs> we got Aquarius and we got Judgment. So their true intentions are to tell you that they've, they've woken up to this connection, Aquarius. Yeah. They're tired of being the fool. This is all your energy, Aquarius. 
So their true intentions are to be honest with you, be open with you, have a new start with you, taking a leap of faith with you, just starting new things, hoping and healing. I don't know, Aquarius. There's a lot of healing here. So they're hoping that they can just have this new start with you. They're going to, you know, tell you something shocking or they're going to get some shocking news about you even. I don't know. But they just want to tell you how they feel. Like, they feel like you can trust them or they feel like, you know, give it a chance. They hope you feel the same way they do. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They see you as yourself. And they want to start this new beginning with you or start something with you messages of love Aquarius dealing with the Libra 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 okay yeah they want some forgiveness Forgiveness for something, Aquarius, or they, you need to forgive yourself in order to move forward with this Libra. But they want a second chance. It's giving, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. They're hoping for a second chance, or this relationship deserves a second chance, Aquarius. And they're hoping to have that fresh start with you. Like I said, that new start. They got, you know, entrepreneur energy around them. So they definitely want to start some type of business with you. Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. So you and this person both have learned a spiritual lesson. You already know the answer. You seek Aquarius intuition. Your intuition is going crazy right now. So you already know. You're done healing. You've mastered this. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Your intuition is letting you know this. Decision. Now you got a, a decision to make. Now you got a decision to make about your soulmate. Soulmate showed up twice. So Aquarius, this Libra could definitely be your soulmate. Now you got a decision to make. Let's see, honey. Now you got a decision to make. I hope you make the right one. I hope you choose them. Because they've choose. They've cho or what? They'll, ch they'll choose you a thousand times over. They'll choose to do something with you a thousand times over. I don't know. That's for whoever that's for. <laughs> what other messages do we have to Aquarius to look at the Libra? Aquarius to look at the Libra. hope that you can forgive me one day so somebody here really wants some forgiveness it was my fault but i blamed you so clearly it was their fault but they blamed you so they definitely want some forgiveness aquarius they hope that you can forgive them one day like i said they're very hopeful with, with star cars showing up you showing up i knew exactly what i was doing i knew exactly what i was doing i mastered this shit i knew exactly what i was doing you came closer than anyone aquarius so you've mastered this lesson. You came closer to anybody. Just being near you is intoxicating. So this could be how you feel. It says I lost myself for a little while. This person could have lost themselves. Or you lost yourself in this connection. I feel like, you know. I feel like this is this person though. Because they're saying just being near you is intoxicating. They lost themselves. They said they'll choose you a thousand times over. So let's get to it. Final message for the Aqua dealing with the Libra. Message after the Libra. Message for you, please. And a message for you, please. That's the one. Damn. We got trust, Aquarius. Bliss. Trust. And at the bottom of the deck, we got Manifest Steer. Y'all keep getting this Manifest Steer card. So, I feel like the final message is trust, Aquarius. Have trust. Learn to trust. 
learn how to forgive or, or just let it go. I don't know. But yeah, the final message is trust. Is trust. Usually I read them, but I just feel like this is you opening up to bliss. Being able to trust, learning how to trust, loving, loving yourself first. Alright, let's find out. Aquarius dealing with the Gemini. Let's find out. Moving right along to Aquarius dealing with a Gemini. Let's get some island time. Let's see. A phrase dealing with a Gemini. Okay, so we got love at the bottom of the deck, and the card that came out is paradise. Of our energy, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. At the bottom of the deck, we got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Okay, Aquas. Is that going to take you to paradise? Or this love, it feels like paradise. It feels almost... Too good to be true, but that's because it might be, like, a very healthy relationship. You're just enjoying each other. You could be traveling together or just expanding, talking about expanding. It's just a really joyful time for you right now. You both are attracted, very affectionate or very attracted to one another. There's a lot of passion in this connection because you've healed Aquarius. Aquarius dealing with the Gemini. What's on their mind? Aquarius dealing with the Gemini. Page of Pentacles. They want some type of new opportunity with you or they're going to offer you a new opportunity. This could be an opportunity um, from someone younger than you. This person could be younger than you. But this is like a solid message. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Queen of Cups. So they see you as very, you know, loyal, very, you know, loving, very caring. Or this is how they are. They're, they could be obsessive. What? Are, yeah, six of ones. They want to do something successful or they want to have some type of success with you. This could definitely be your Twin Flame, Neon Awakening at the bottom of the deck. Twin Flame Reunion 1, Divine Union, Submission Control complete life purpose so yes it definitely says oneness on both of these cards and then one here so you two could be complete this is definitely your twin flame they want to have some type of success with you or you two are going to be just successful together very idolized you could do something in the public eye with this person but um yeah this is how they're feeling they want to offer you some type of new opportunity to do something or they want to learn something from you i don't know we got the seven of ones Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. You're definitely, you know, having to protect yourself after you two have gained this, I feel like, success together or whatever this is. You still are going to have to protect yourself or you're going to have to set some type of boundaries. King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're going to have to set some boundaries when it comes to this Gemini Aquarius. What are they feeling? What's the Gemini's feeling towards the Aquarius? What are they feeling? talk for one but we got the hangman so they feel like you know they want to look at this differently or they're they feel like they're making some type of sacrifice to come towards you knight of swords at the bottom of the deck they feel like they may need to let it go or, or this is being delayed this is how they're feeling you're holding them back from something 
this is your energy so it's how they feel like you got them stuck in suspense they don't know what to do they don't know if they want to you know come in real quick with communication night of sources about quick communications could be like an argument coming in this is how they're feeling they want to cuss you out <laughs> they want to cuss you out let's find out what they want to say what does Gemini want to say to the Aquarius? Ace of Swords. They got some type of clarity or truth. Or they've been enlightened to something or about something. They've gotten some type of idea or information that they want to share. Talks about expansion. So they could want to expand with you. Or they want to talk about some type of expansion. The death card at the bottom of the deck. They, they could possibly want to let you know that um, they want to have a new beginning with you. If you're not already connected. Or something ended for them. Verify Ace of Swords. Verify Ace of Swords. They come and fly now. Ace of Swords clarified by the Chariot and the Eight of Wands. So they definitely want to talk to you about something. Could be about this business that they want to start something about um they overcame an obstacle or you two are overcoming obstacles together maybe they want to let you know that they want you on this journey with them or something is moving fast they're sending messages emails something on social media this is positive news though aquarius and you're gonna have a decision to make it's yes or no two of swords you have a choice what are the gemini's intentions the aquarius what are their true intentions Their true intentions are to bring you your wish fulfillment. To grant all of your wishes, Aquarius. It's you. Their true intentions are to bring you good fortune, abundance, blessings, security, success, harmony. They want to be happy with you. The Nine of Cups talks about wishes being granted. The stars, hope, healing, inspiration, wishes, renewed, spirituality, individuality, creative thinker. So all of your wishes are being granted, Aquarius. It's either going to be through this Gemini, with this Gemini, or without. We'll find out in the next reading. Are we done? We'll find out, though. Messages. Aquarius, you know what the Gemini, what messages do you have for the Aquarius? You know the Gemini. I wish things could be different. I'm starting to understand our connection. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, so like I said, it could either be with this Gemini, without this Gemini, through this Gemini. I wish I could share my good news with you. So I told you, they got some good news and they want to share it with you. This could be this quick. It says, I'm so attracted. Yeah, I'm so attracted to you. So they could want to share some good news with you or some type of good news that they have. Maybe they want to let you know that they're going the same direction that you're going or they've decided to. I wonder if you are happy without me. I look for you everywhere. So they're looking for you everywhere, Aquarius. So they, this is what they do. They want to know if you're happy without them. So like I said, you you two aren't together. Maybe this was paradise. You felt like you were on paradise oneness. This is your twin flame, Aquarius. So let's see. Messages of love, Aquarius, to the Gemini. Finances. Yeah, financial challenges are affecting this connection. I feel like they want to come talk to you about some type of business idea business venture that they want you to you know join in on self-care at the bottom of the day clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting so i feel like don't be so quick to jump into this idea or jump with this idea you know look at it look at it from all angles with the hangman being here um but this is definitely an opportunity to gain some type of clarity some type of enlightenment some type of information it says intuition. You already know the answer. You seek fate. This is a destined partnership, Aquarius. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. One more, Aquarius. Dealing with the Gemini. So, yeah. You already know what answer you're going to... You know. You already know what you're going to do. 
very new if you're going to decide to make money with this person or not. But I feel like this connection is faded. It's meant to be. Yeah, there's messages coming in fast. Incoming. Quick incoming. Like, they could be calling and hanging up. Yeah, I just seen go slow. Play hard. So, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. And interference at the bottom of the deck. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So, there could be outside sources affecting this connection or affecting this relationship or there's something or someone intruding on this relationship it could be getting y'all business i don't know final message for the aquarius dealing with a gemini final message aquarius dealing with the gemini it says free yourself it's time to take back control of your life Make the effort at the bottom of the deck. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, yeah, make the effort, Aquarius. Free yourself, though. Love yourself first. You already know the answers you seek when it comes to this connection. But this connection is fated. It's fate or something is fated to happen. It's in the cards. <laughs> anyway, Aqua's dealing with the Aqua. 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 Let's get into it so we can wrap this on up. We're going to finish this out. Aqua's dealing with the aqua. We're going to start with a message of love, y'all. Okay, Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. Messages of love for an Aquarius. Aquarius overall energy. Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. Aquarius. Regret. Someone feels remorse for uh, the way they treated you. And we got passion. Try something you've never done before, Aquarius. So someone is regretful. And now they're like, okay, but just, you know, give me a chance. Maybe they regret um, the way they treated you or the way they acted in this connection. I don't know. But this is saying try something you've never done before, Aquarius. I just seen justice. So you're going to get your justice with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, it's looking lit for the Aquas. For the Aqua Aqua pair. Alright, what's on the Aquarius dealing with the... What's on the other Aquarian's mind? Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. What's on their mind? Aquarius dealing with an Aquarius. What's on their mind? What is on their mind? They're twin flames. So this is a twin flame connection. You two are too much alike. You two are one. This is a divine union. Submission and control. You two could be carrying out your life purpose together. This is a union. You you could be getting married or, or talking about marriage. Or this is just your twin flame, Aquarius. Y'all are one. Somebody, you, you know, you submit and control when needed. I feel like you take turns. We got the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Quick communication, rapid action. Somebody could be having some shit to say to you. I don't know. Intelligent, but that's what's on their mind. They want to let you know something. Or they want they want to move in quick if y'all aren't, you know. Yeah, they want to let you know something. They, they regret. Okay, so they regretted the way they treated you. Four of Cups. They feel like you're not interested or you're, like, unhappy. Yeah, they feel like shit got toxic. That's how they're feeling. Shit is, I mean, this is what's on their mind. Shit got toxic. They, in their head, they not, you know, really sure if you, this is what you want. They feel like they're not getting what they want from you. They're making up conflict. And it's becoming, like, a toxic attachment. It could be a control freak. This Aquarius could be, um... Creating illusions, like I said, imaginary conflict. With the devil at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, what's what are they feeling? Aquarius dealing with another Aquarius. What are they feeling? What are they feeling towards the Aquarius? Aquarius with another Aquarius. What are they feeling? They're feeling like they want to. Be happy with you. Get the bag with you. Have a marriage with you. Stability. They feel like you're already one. So you could already be talking about marriage or getting married. They feel like you're not really interested in this. I feel like you're going to complete some life purpose with this with this Aquarius. Empress at the bottom of the deck. 
So this could be divine masculine, divine feminine. If I feel like you're gonna create something together, creating a family, establishing family, establishing wealth, a legacy. You're gonna do something in your community together. I feel like there's a life purpose that you two are gonna complete together. Some type of stability and abundance, Aquarius. Yeah, King of Wands. So somebody's in their boss energy and they want to take control or, or take control of this connection. This is how they're feeling. They, they want to come towards you. They want to be bold. They want to let you know, like, hey, so this person could be possessive. But it's like, it, it's not in a bad way. This is a soulmate connection. <laughs> you two are very much in love. This is, you know, a union, oneness, harmony, happiness. But let's see. What do they want to say to the aqua? What does the Aquarius want to say to the Aquarius? <laughs> Aquarius is with an Aquarius. What does the Aquarius want to say to the aqua? What does the Aquarius want to say to the aqua? They know just like you know. That's what they want to let you know. Y'all can learn from each other or learn from um doing things together going to see some type of counselor or advisor spiritual advisor together i feel like you both are um healers you both know different things or you both have different attachments or information you're both all knowing you're both very secretive <laughs> somebody's getting some type of higher education or you two are getting some type of higher education together i feel like you two are guiding each other on your spiritual path this also speaks about marriage, so they definitely want to marry you, Aquarius. What are their intentions with the with the aqua? What are the Aquarians' intentions? Three of Wands, Page of Wands. So they want to expand, but they feel like you're non-committal, or they're non-committal, or it's coming off as non-committal. They want to expand. Six of Cups. So this is a you know a chance at love or a second chance at love y'all could be just friends i feel like you could be reigniting something that happened in the past between you two but I, I feel like this person is a free spirit like you they're you know creative like you i feel like they want to talk they want to let you know they want to come in and let you know that they want success with you or you two are gonna um receive some type of opportunities together i feel like you two balance or or match energy like share energy Y'all feed off of each other. Messages for the Aquarius month and Aquarius. I look for you everywhere. You speak to me through music. So one of you do music. Or they just hear you in songs. They Everything they hear reminds them of you. I look for you everywhere and you speak to me through music. So literally everything reminds them of you. It was my fault but I blamed you. And I will wait for a sign from you. I hid who I really am from, from you. And I'm starting to understand our connection. So uh, this could be an Aquarius with Gemini placements. Or a Gemini highly aspected. Or this could be a Gemini with Aquarius placements. Because y'all just got the same cards. Really. Literally. Um, the timing just wasn't right for us, so it's it's not in the cards. Let's get a final message. Final message for the Aquarius and the Aquarius. Final message for the Aquarius and the Aquarius. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give, receive. Give and receive the highest energy of all. And it says past life relationships. So yeah, something from the past could be coming back. Reigniting from the past. Past children, memories, friends, second chance at love. This is a second chance to start over with this person. You have known each other before. So yeah. Anyway, Aquas, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Honey, click that notification bell so you don't miss out when I drop the next banger. I promise I'm going to stop going missing on y'all. Shit, shit going to change around here. Hear me? All right, peace, love, and likings, and queens. I'm out.